Welcome to DWSR, or Dan Williams and Sim Racing, a channel devoted to all things, well, Sim. Now, seeing as this is the first video on the channel, I thought I'd show off my newest bit of kit. This is the Sim Projects Pro Race 2, a small, relatively inexpensive dashboard that will really bring up the immersion factor of any rig it's bolted down to. Now, before the video gets underway, I'd just like to point out that this was purchased with my own money, with no influence from Sim Projects whatsoever, so this is as unbiased as it gets. Let's get started. The Sim Projects Pro Race 2 features a set of 15 LEDs across the top to show your revs, as well as 6 additional LEDs at the bottom. Every single LED here is fully customizable using the Sim Dash software, but we'll get to that later. It also has two very satisfyingly tactile buttons at the front, which you can use to toggle between display modes. Around the back is the exposed PCB, where you can wire in things such as rotary and toggle switches, and external shifter gauges and lights. There are countless games that this device supports, all the way from things like Euro Truck Simulator 2, to the more obscure games such as G-Rally and Game Stock Car. Using the device is fairly straightforward, you simply turn on the software and the dash automatically detects the game that you're playing, and you're off. There is some tweaking you have to do before you get into the car and go for a drive. One of the limitations with this being on the cheaper end of displays, unless you're a real fan of iRacing, there is no way to have the display automatically set the RPM limits for the car, so each time you change cars, you have to manually set the RPM limit and tell the display when to flash the lights at redline. This can become quite tedious, however you can set up profiles for the different cars, so you can speed up the process somewhat. So far, I've used the Pro Race 2 display in a couple of games, Dirt Rally 2 and Assetto Corsa, to name a couple. These are my go-to sims, and I have to say, it worked beautifully. It does take some getting used to though. As you turn the wheel, your hands can obscure the view of the dash, and if you have the paddles attached to the wheel rims like I do, they do come perilously close to touching the dash, making shifting with the paddles in tight turns quite a challenge. As with anything DIY-esque, such as this dash, these small foibles are to be expected. No doubt as the weeks and months go on, I'll get used to all these rather small inconveniences. I think it's got to the point in the video where I show you some obligatory racing with a wheel cam perspective. So here's Dirt Rally 2 and the Audi Quattro. Enjoy. Three, two, one, go. Six left, opens extra long, caution slow in, turn one right uphill. Opens four right, very long, tightens three, extra long, keep it, tightens of a small crest, into three left, tightens and keep right, into three left, very long, tightens and four right, very long, tightens, ditch outside, into four left, 40, slowing three right, and turn square right, don't cut, into six left long, 130, five left of a bumps, 70, Four right long, opens of a crest past junction, and tightens, keep in 50, shot right left, opens 60, over double crest, and six left long of a dip, slow in 45 left, tightens 3, 100. Deceptive, four left long of a crest, tightens 50, five right tightens, into five left, caution, tightens, narrow shot, three right, six left, very long, tightens three long, 40, one right long, don't cut, rocks inside. 30, four left of a crest, 50, short two right of a crest, rock outside. 60, keep left of a small crest, into three left of a dip, 90. Three left long, don't cut, rocks inside. 80, over bumpy crests, short six left, into six right tightens, four of a crest, very long. 50, short four left past junction, keep right of a jump, into six right, into late five left of a crest, don't cut, and keep right of a jump, 70, slow in four right of a crest, tighten sudden, three left, don't cut. Very long rocks inside 40, deceptive, three right tightens of a small crest, into three left, into four right, four left past junction, slow three right, very long tightens, ditch out, and slow in four right, into turn sudden square left, 50, open head bit right, don't cut rocks inside, into four left tightens, and six right, into five left of a crest, very long, into caution two right, 
And three left, tight toe, two right, very long, don't cut rocks inside. And three left of a crest. 60 downhill, three left long. Into six right, extra long, caution tightens three. And four left long, opens and tightens. Into four right, to keep right of a junction. Into three left, into slowing, caution, five right long, tightens to one. Extra long. Three left long, tightens, opens of a small crest, 60, two right, opens long, and two left long, opens, six left, and long crest, and sudden four left, and three right, slow in 80, four left long, 40, turn early, one left, tightens, 90, middle of a crest, finish, 60, to stop. All that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my musings about the little sim dash that could. If you have any thoughts or feedback, please share them in the comments below. And that if you have any suggestions for content that you'd like to see from this channel, then please let me know. Thank you for watching. Good night.